Welcome to the beautiful beach town of Bucerías. Located in the Mexican state of Nayarit, on Mexico's west coast, about 25 minutes north of Puerto Vallarta, this stretch of sand in the Bay of Banderas has stolen my heart. Good afternoon from Bucerías. This is the second time I've been here, but we're gonna stay for a couple of days, get to know the town. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon, so we're headed to the beach. The last time I was here, I remember it being really long and nice sand. So hopefully it'll be a good afternoon of swimming. We had lunch at this incredible ceviche place called La Mara. Highly recommended. The ceviches were so good. So now time to just relax. The beach was even better than I remembered it. A quiet December afternoon packed with sunshine. Although it's a popular beach town and December is one of the busiest times of year, there was so much space on this five mile stretch of sand. We stayed on the beach relaxing, popping in and out of the water, floating in the salty Pacific until the sun started to set. Compared to Puerto Vallarta, sunsets here are even more magical because the sun sets directly over the water. The next day, we explored the downtown area of Bucerías around the waterfront. There are tons of shops and restaurants all over the beachfront area. It's far more built up than I remember it on my last visit back in 2021. We recently moved into a new apartment back in the US, so we were on the hunt here in Bucerías for some cute home decor to remind us of our favorite country. The Bucerías flea market, located right next to the main plaza, Plaza Bucerías, is packed with all kinds of souvenirs to take home and at a pretty reasonable price compared to what we saw next door in Puerto Vallarta. On the other side of the market, you find the colorful Bucerías sign with the ocean as your backdrop. After all that shopping, we were feeling pretty hungry. There are a lot of good local restaurants around Bucerías, but we were particularly interested in trying El Rincón de Ensenada, which I had read was serving up the best fish tacos in town. It did not disappoint and rivals some of my favorites down the road in the romantic zone. We spent the rest of the day relaxing by the beach. Bucerías is definitely well and truly on the tourist map. I had this impression that it was a much sleepier town than it was because we visited in 2021, um, but at Christmas time in 2023, it is busy. But I understand why this beach, even though it's so busy, is so big, so wide, so long, that there are tons of places that you can just relax on your own, away from the crowds and it's so swimmable. So every day we've been here, we've been going into the ocean and it's been so nice, much nicer swimming beach than Los Muertos in the middle of Puerto Vallarta. So the draw to be able to have the amenities of all the restaurants just a couple blocks away, and then this incredible beach, it's pretty unbeatable. Speaking of restaurants, there are a few others that you definitely don't wanna miss while you're here, especially if you love a good taco. By night, there were two spots we kept returning to. One is Tacos Junior, who are serving up pastor tacos cooked to utter perfection. This place is always packed with both locals and tourists, and the prices are fantastic. The other spot not to miss is Taqueria Ontiveros. It's all about the asada tacos here, which are perfectly grilled pieces of juicy steak paired with a selection of their house-made salsas. If you get thirsty, try the local craft beer brewery, Cerveceria Buclas, which often has live music from local bands. When you're looking at where to stay in Bucerias, there are two sides of town. It's split by the Highway 200, which is a four-lane road. On the ocean side, you have high-rise condos and hotels, and the majority of the restaurants. On the other side, you have more local shops, houses, and smaller Airbnbs, which, although further from the beach, are way more affordable. The other great thing about Bucerías is that it is a perfect base for exploring the rest of the Riviera Nayarit. 
We stayed here while exploring other towns like Sayulita, San Pancho, and Lo de Marcos, all of which are only about 25 to 40 minutes away by car. Bags are all packed up. It's time to leave Bucerias. It's been such a good base for exploring the Riviera Nayarit. The only issue is when you come back at night and you have to drive on the the road that splits the the town in two. There's so much traffic on that road every night. (laughs) But otherwise, it's been so close to get to the other beaches in the mornings. So nice to come back here and there's so many food options. So I would definitely be back here again, perhaps basing myself uh, in somewhere that's a little bit easier to get in and out of. But the beach here it's unbeatable. It's so beautiful. If you have any questions about visiting Bucerias, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye. Join me next week as we get absolutely pummeled by waves in the Riviera Nayarit towns like San Pancho and Lo de Marcos.